I say it every day, when you look in the mirror, how great are you going to be that day? Are you going to be special? Are you going to be halfway good? Every day I look in the mirror, I say, today's the greatest day ever, ever. Today I get a chance to get better. Today I get a chance to help a teammate. So many times, all of us, we're so in our own workplace, we don't look around us to see who our teammates are. All of us, every single one of us. <coughs> Sometimes, like, I tell my players, come in and see me every day. I want to see your eyes. I want to see your body language. Because if I see it a different way, I'm going to ask, what's wrong with you? And you don't ever do that? You don't have to answer that. You know, you see one of your teammates, one of your coworkers down, how do you pick them up? How do you continue to encourage them that we're going to be all right? I say get into this enthusiastic coma. Everybody asks, are you always like this every day? Every single day I get into this enthusiastic coma because it's easy to be pissed off and upset every day. It's real easy. But you know what? All those people that are like that, I guarantee a miserable, broke, unhappy, alcoholics, or I may be in there after this season. Um, <laughs> um, think about that. I think when you have positive energy and positive emotion, I think it's, I call it Velcro. You know, when you're enthusiastic, people want to stick to you. People want to believe in you. When you're all out there hustling and, and you're, you know, I don't know your business per se by the paperwork, but I do know the business of enthusiasm, teamwork, togetherness, us, we, family, those things become contagious. And people want to help you. That's where those referrals come in. When you're in the workplace, some of our home problems get into the workplace. We all get in arguments. I say yes, dear, all the time, but I don't want to be wrong. My wife never wants to be wrong. Some of those kind of seep into the workplace. Our kids, my kid didn't do his homework. I was up with him last night till about 1.30. Our kids get in the way sometimes. I think when you get those external things in, that begins into our workplace and who there is to support that, who you're bouncing those ideas off of, to get some support in the workplace. I do know this. From where I've come from, being the only college graduate in my family, having a family raise me, they didn't have to raise me. They didn't have to bring me into their home when they already had four children of their own and a combined $32,000, no college education. All the kids that, all their kids, including myself, everybody, has degrees, two of which are from Providence College, a master's from Providence College, UNLV, Penn. It's unbelievable when you're looking at small home that we grew up in. One bathroom. Many of us in this room have probably grown up in the one bathroom home. I look at my home now and my kids still complain there's six bathrooms in the house. I'm like, pick a toilet. <laughs> it's four of us in here. You know? Do number one on this one and number two on that one, do whatever you want. <laughs> right? But so many times we just go, get caught up in what we don't have and what the other person next to you does have. We don't want to care about that person. Let's do what we do. Do what we do. Stay right in your lane. And when you stay in your lane, you'll be surprised how many people want to jump in that lane with you.